Hello, friends, and welcome to the Binding of Isaac Community Remix 1.3.2. believe this is currently the newest version. It's the one with Adam, insane mode, etc, etc. Let's random. We're going to play a Maggie run. We have not played a Maggie run, I believe, in a while. Although, to be honest, I have not played the Binding of Isaac in quite a while as well. In fact, it's been almost a week. And the game feels really slow. Is everything moving slow? Is that just me? It might just be me. Maybe I have like I'm in the I'm in the Isaac Kung Fu zone right now. It looks like it's moving slow, but actually my brain is moving so fast. Yeah, I wouldn't think that's the case. Let me check to make sure we're not like doing any kind of slow-mo thing here or whatnot. Just kind of thumbing through the options here, make sure nothing's on. It has been a long time, as I said, since I've played this. Almost a full week. No, it looks like everything's fine. Uh, computer's still running just fine. Barely using any CPUs. I believe that's CPU cycles. Maybe uh, Maggie's just really slow. Or maybe in this version, Maggie gets some kind of speed, shot speed down. I just don't even realize it. Could be. Could be. I'm not going to put that past Community Remix. They make switches and balance changes all the time. Not a clue. Anyway, welcome to those of you on Twitch, by the way. Thank you so much for joining me. Appreciate it. A ton. Do I want Spider Butt or do I want the Yum Heart? I think I'm going to stick with the Yum Heart. Now, this is a real shame. If I had one bomb, I could get the Tinted Rock, the four bombs. Life would be good. If only I had a bomb. But instead, I got a key. So, you know, that is what it is, right? Key's good, too. Nothing really wrong with getting a key, per se. But whatever. I'll be happy with the key and, you know, this room, or this floor. A lot of potential, but unfortunately not going to be able to exploit any of it. Putting ourselves in a very bad spot here. This is only basement one, so I don't have to worry about a deal with the devil chance. But I feel really weak. And I'm just not getting any shots in there where they need to be. Duke of Fly is usually not such a such a hassle, but with Maggie, Duke of Flies can be a real pain in the dookie. If that even makes any sense at all, I'd be surprised. Let's just kind of play it safe. You know, it's not a question of if I'm going to win or not. It's a question of how much damage I'm going to take. And how long this fight's going to be. Again, if I had just gotten a single bomb... Duke of Fly would be over, I would have had that Tinted Rock, would have taken no Red Heart damage. Probably would have taken no Spirit Heart damage, because I would have just bombed him once or twice to finish him off. That's a parallel world, where a bomb dropped instead of this key drop. By the way, so strange, this floor has so many, like, special rooms. And basically, what, one combat room? Is that it? Only a single combat room in this entire floor? How strange. I'm gonna take, like, another 12 or so shots here. Just the tank and the damage. As Maggie, it doesn't really matter if you tank the damage. And on the first floor, it doesn't really matter if you take the damage. So, I'm not going way out of my way to try and avoid damage here. Just want to get some couple more shots. And, oh my gosh. He needs like two more hits. Maybe not even. Maybe just one more hit. Maybe three hits. I'm not really sure. One, two. He needed two hits. We are going to get back up to full health, provided these guys don't clip me in their final volley here. Looks like they're not going to be too much trouble. Back up to full health. Complete the room with full health. Good good for me. Holy crap. That was like a really tough Duke of Flies fight. But I'm just going to go ahead and slide the music down a tiny bit. I don't know if it's loud for you guys. Uh, but, you know, it's unfortunately a little loud for me. Is this really community remix? Of course it is. Of course it is. By the way, welcome, Eddie. Good to see you. Thanks for joining us today. Nothing really left to do on this floor, unless I wanted to take Spider Butt, which I don't. So let's head on down. Heading on down. Duke of Flies was just a terrible draw there. Usually he's a pretty easy draw, but... I don't know if Maggie's shot range is just... Her range is crap, by the way. I don't remember Maggie having such bad range. Again, that could be a, a remix balance issue. Remix might have changed Maggie's range, or her shot speed. It feels like she's shooting so slow. Golden Key is a great find, especially on the first room of combat. If you get the Golden Key in the last room of combat, 
Odds are you've already gone to all the rooms that need a key, and it's basically a useless item. Worse than getting a normal key. When you get it in the first room of combat, oh, it's beautiful. This is uh, Brother Bobby. Brother Bobby. Often considered to be the worst of the shooting familiars. Because he's just, he's vanilla. You know, and I hate to use that term to mean bad, because I actually like the flavor of vanilla. But it's sort of a standard uh, nomenclature that vanilla just means plain, nothing special. As such, you know, it's uh, nothing special. But it's better than having nothing. In my next run, will I play as Isaac? Sure, why not? Why not? We'll do an Isaac run next. I can always do an Adam run, too. Adam, new character in Community Remix. Uh, I didn't really like Adam the first time I played him. But like I said, it's been about a week since I picked this up, so maybe I should give him another chance. Death card, just going to finish off a room, clear up a room for us. This floor also pretty lax on the combat. Is that only, what, three rooms with combat? Something like that. Let's go give our boss the college try here. It's going to be Famine. Famine, not really too much trouble. The flies are, I think, more of a problem than Famine himself. But I am pretty much out of practice, so... I wouldn't be surprised if I end up taking some uh, some foolish hits here. Try and get a couple hits on that fly right away. Take him out. Could try baiting Famine into doing his charge attack. As it stands, I think we're doing enough damage that we don't really need to bait him into it. Could take out the flies without him suiciding his way into them. Or I guess it wouldn't be suicide. It'd be kamikaze or something like that. Without him doing the head-on collusion into them costing their lives and his but he's gonna be finished here he's in uh he's in face state triple shot can be a little tricky when you're moving so slow like maggie is that being said i don't think we're gonna get clipped oh that was really close almost got clipped at the end there but managed to finish him off deal with the devil chant should be really high we got it the apple is not so interesting i agree eddie i didn't really uh, the apple i tried to get into it i just i couldn't get into it I just couldn't get into the apple. So we've got a choice here. I'm going to take the foot. That's not really a choice. The choice is, do I take the nail? Two red hearts for spirit heart generation potential. It is once every six rooms. Hmm. It works really well with the habit, which I don't have. I'm going to wait. I'm going to hold out for something a little better. The nail, I usually consider it right on the edge between picking up and not picking up. With, uh, with Golden Key, there's almost no reason not to go to our shop. The reason not to is if I see the habit in the shop, then the habit's out of the pool. It's gone. Take the nail. Oh, it's too late, Eddie. I'm sorry. There's a delay. It's too late. I already passed it up. I already passed it up. Sorry, man. It is really OP with the habit. It is very, very OP with the habit. That, you are not wrong, good sir. You are not wrong. But... It might be a little too OP. Well, maybe not. I don't know. I remember back in the day, the nail used to give you two spirit hearts every time you used it. It was back in, like, Isaac version 1 or something. Way, way misbalanced, giving you two spirit hearts for one use. Bring these guys down here. I think that... Whoa! Don't pick up that penny yet. Flat penny. So our key situation should hopefully be taken care of thanks to flat penny. Hoping to get about 20 to 25 keys out of this before we swap it out for something else. Only trinket I'd probably switch it out for right now. Probably the soul penny. Soul penny's a little better. But man, I love the flat penny so much. It's such a good get. I'm pretty early too. Pretty early too. I will end up opening up that golden chest. In good time. In good time. Almost certainly. Unless I end up losing a ton of life. Between now... And the completion of this floor. If I don't, then I believe that golden chest is in our future. Don't clip me. He clipped me. That's okay. Not a huge deal. That's the risk you take when you run so close to the rocks. But it happens. It happens. It happens. This is our first bomb of the run. On Catacombs 1, we finally get our first bomb. After missing an opportunity for a 4 for 1 trade... After missing a tinted rock or two, I don't remember if there were two or just one. We finally get a bomb, right when we don't need it. 
Ah, forget it. Let's just head in here. This guy should not be too much of a tr of a problem if we can just avoid taking damage at the entrance there. Luckily, that that managed to happen. I thought for sure we we're gonna get clipped. The way these guys move often accesses parts of my mathematical and logical thinking that is not used on a day-to-day -day basis. As such, they often catch me a little off guard, a little ill prepared. You know, having Brother Bobby has basically doubled our damage. Because he's doing 3.5, I'm doing 3.5, he's shooting pretty much every time I shoot. My damage is so low that Brother Bobby is a 2x damage multiplier for me. Pretty ridiculous, if you think about it that way. It should not be that low. And we want to finish this guy off if we can here. Well, just, oh, come on, he's like one little tick away. He's like, someone sneeze on that guy. Someone sneeze on him, he's about to fall over. There he goes. Sorry if I do not write, I'm writing in German. Hey, don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. You're not the only one who doesn't understand everything I say. That's a, that's a pretty common trait for me. And I'm not even joking. Because I am an American living in Taiwan. Where the native language is Chinese here. And so, not anybody <laughs> pretty much understands everything I say. The majority of people I interact with every day understand maybe 5 to 10% of what I say. And that's fine. You know, I like it that way. Keeps a little bit of the mystery. Keeps you thinking. Let's head up in here to our secret room. This is the black mushroom, the dark mushroom, black mushroom I believe it is. Yeah, black mushroom. Every time you use this, you get what, like a speed down, fire rate up? My speed's already pretty trash, but I should probably use it one time. Speed down and tears up. I'm comfortable using it one more time. Brother Bobby is a special item. Yeah, I believe you're right. I believe he is a special item. Not one of the better special items, but definitely not the worst special item. There are better and there are worse special items. I don't know if that was really worth it. Two speed downs for some tears up. We'll see if that pans out for us as a net positive or if that ends up being a mistake. Well, I took a hit there, which is unfortunate. But not the end of the world. Not the end of the world. Let's go in here. We've got the D12. The D12 will let you re-roll a boss fight. We've already fought the boss on this floor. So I can't re-roll that. And aside from the occasional times you get to fight something like Chad. And you don't want to fight him. That item is mostly bad. It's an interesting item. Not a whole lot of practicality. It does not let you re-roll uh, the quote-unquote unique floor bosses. You can't re-roll Mom. You can't re-roll Mom's Heart, Shoal, Isaac, or Blue Baby. So the, I, the opportunities you'd think would be really useful, it doesn't work. So that's unfortunate. It's a health up. That might be a health up because we picked up the Lucky Foot. It might have been a health down before we picked that up. In which case, picking up that luck foot just paid for itself. But there's no way to know if that's the case for sure. Oh, shoot. I'm missing uh, I'm missing life. I'm sitting there going, why is that door closed? I hope you find Tiny Planet, Polythemus. That's so awesome. Or Mom's Knife. Or the Luvideo Technique. Yeah, they're all really good items. Potato King. How are you? That's the real question. Kuro, how are you as well? Thank you guys for coming out. I'm doing okay. I'm not doing fantastic. Having a little bit of a, an issue here. But aside from that, I'm doing fine. Oh, crap. I got a golden key right at the end. As I was mentioning on the last floor, it's the worst time to get a golden key. Because I can't take it with me. And a normal key I could have. Yeah, you know, my job's going well. My social life is going pretty well. My gaming is going pretty well. Playing a lot of Vita. More Vita than I'd like to admit. A lot of Sword Art Online. Uh, which is a, an amazing Vita game. And I almost want to pick up a Vita TV just to play that on the big screen. But I'm told that that game is not compatible with it. Which is unfortunate because there's like 
95% of games are. This game doesn't even really use the touchpad. And it's one of the ones that's not. Which is too bad. It was like a top seller too. So I'm surprised it wasn't made compatible with the Vita TV. Maybe that's coming in a patch. And fine, not so dead, so that's good. Hey, sometimes that's all that really counts, right? You're still ticking. The heart muscle is still beating. Life goes on. And you just keep pushing forward to another day. With only four cents, I don't want to go in there. There's really nothing in that shop that I can see. Except for maybe a half-off key. I mean, that's so statistically unlikely. I'd rather not go in there and lose an item from the pool. That could be something like the habit. Uh, yeah, there's pretty much nothing else to do on this floor. Three bombs. I could look for the super secret room. But I see one, two, three, four, five. Five locations it could be, and I only have three bombs. I don't want to waste them. I've been having some issues, though, with my foot, which I've never had before. You know, my feet are pretty strong overall. I'm not like Olympic runner, but, you know, I do a lot of walking here in Taiwan. I think my feet are in pretty good shape. About a week ago, my right foot was like really uncomfortable. Like I woke up and it felt like it was asleep and it just wouldn't wake up. That kind of tingly feeling that you get on your foot when it's not getting good circulation or something and it kind of tingles. But I thought nothing of it, put on my socks, put on my shoes, went off to work, yada yada. You know, I took my sock off and I thought, my foot's a little, you know, it's really difficult to take my sock off. My foot's a little swollen. And that was like maybe four or five days ago. And it's still swollen and it still hasn't gone down. And, you know, it's uncomfortable to bend. It's uncomfortable to walk on. It's not like massively painful. It's just uncomfortable. So I don't know, I'm probably gonna have to go see the doctor, which is always a huge pain when you're in a foreign country and you don't speak the native language and you try to use something like a medical service. It's so hit and miss. You have no idea if you're gonna get a doctor that speaks English or not. You know, I'm not sure if I was bit by like a spider or if um if I sprang my ankle, but like the swelling hasn't gone down at all. Like at first I thought, ah, maybe I just stepped on it wrong. Maybe I, sp I sprung or sprang. I'm not sure which, oh, that was terrible. There goes my deal with the devil chance. <laughs> I'm not sure which uh, which verb tense you use there. Sprung or sprang to my ankle. You know, I do it like I said, I do a lot of walking and I don't I didn't really notice anything. Like I don't remember stepping on something. I didn't think I stepped on a nail. I don't think I got bit by You know, I don't remember getting bit by a bug, but who knows, you know, it could happen. But anyway, it's got to the point where I can't really bend my toes down all the way. And it's just really uncomfortable. And so today I finally said like, you know, I got to go to the doctor and I can't really go alone because like I said, I don't speak Chinese very well. Um, so I decided to ask the girlfriend to take me and she's got to work today, but tomorrow we're going to go to the doctor. I started taking some Benadryl and some, um, Curem, which is like a multi-spectrum, uh, antibiotic that they, you know, they sell here, that I got last time I got sick. Yep, no deal with the devil, that's too bad. Because I took a lot of damage there, which was terrible. Keep your feet above your heart level to get circulation back if you're sitting down. Yeah, you know, like, it, it's got sir, it's got to have circulation, because it's not like red or blue, and it doesn't feel like it's going to fall off, and I can still feel it a little, it just feels tingly. So it's got to be getting some blood or something. It's just swollen. I don't know. It's kind of a big pain in the butt. Like it seems like here in Taiwan, I can't go more than two months without having some problem. Get the flu, get a fever, get hit by a car. And now, you know, I have to get my foot amputated. Oh, it's not that bad. I'm sure they're not gonna have to amputate it. It's my dark sense of humor coming out. Ah, I probably got diabetes or something. I'm probably just gonna have to cut the foot off. Like, oh man, that's really bad. It's really dark. Like, nah, I'm just joking. Why would you joke like that? I have no idea. I have no idea. That's been my conversation the last two or three days. With my parents and with the girlfriend. So, yep. Anyway, kind of a pain. A little unfortunate. And this week has been a really stressful week. I teach 10 classes a week. You know, it sounds like a lot, but it's actually only maybe 17 hours of teaching. Combined with maybe 10 hours of planning and you have my work week, which is less than 30 hours. 
which is fantastic. I mean, in the United States, you work a 40 hour work week. That's considered full time here. I basically work 17 hours and it's full time, which is nice, which is really nice. How come Flat Penny refuses to pay out? You suck, Flat Penny. Um, so you know, this week when I say like I had to work a lot, I worked the same amount of hours. It was just really stressful because uh, of the ten classes I teach, two of them had parents' days this week, and parents' days are like these days where the parents come in, and you have to do like a demonstrate, like a teaching demonstration, where the kids are in the front of the class, the parents are sitting in the back. I'm going to stick with Yumheart. No, I'm not. Yeah, I am. I could use the shears to get a bomb, but my speed is too slow. I don't want to backtrack. I'm too lazy. It's terrible. Ish terrible. Anyway, so the parents come in and they watch me teach their kids, me and the Chinese teacher, you know, create like a lesson plan. And we practice it for like a couple weeks with the kids, of course, because you don't want to just go in cold turkey because the kids will completely fail and you'll look like an idiot. But, you know, we teach them a couple different, you know, games, a couple activities like listening to a song and then writing out the lyrics to practice their listening comprehension and, you know, these types of things and games like spelling games. And then we have them do gestures, you know, like we'll say like eating and the kids have to like act like they're eating to show they understand the words. So you say like, you know, eating and they say eating, you know, chuan and something like that. And they say it in English and Chinese and then they show you, you know, drinking, drinking. Could, uh, you know, this kind of crap, right? And I'm always worried that the kids are going to completely botch it. And to be honest, they usually do. But the parents, surprisingly, don't seem to get really upset that the kids always botch it. You know, the kids are always dinking around. It's hard to get them to focus. When the parents are in the classroom, you think the kids, like American kids, if your mom and dad are watching, usually you're more well-behaved. But Chinese kids, it's like an excuse to, you know, not pay attention because the Chinese teacher can't like yell at them and threaten to beat them up beat them down if they uh don't pay attention which I know sounds terrible you know but that's kind of the way it is here like the, the Chinese teachers don't actually hit the kids anymore they used to up to like four or five years ago well it's not it's been like maybe 10 years that the Chinese teachers haven't been allowed to to slap the kids hands when they're not paying attention but I yell at them like if they're not paying attention I'm like hey you pay attention Look here! Put away your pencil! Pop all my peas when I yell at you! You know, because it's the only way to get, like, you know, these kids to focus. But when the parents are there, you can't, like, you know, you can't be like, Hey, Jimmy, put down the pencil! You gotta be like, Jimmy, it's time to play the game, so you gotta put the pencil away. Because if Jimmy's mom, like, you know... then the thing is, is I'm, I'm all this thinking this way, because I'm, you know educated in the West. Turns out that a lot of times the Chinese teachers just yell at them in front of the parents anyway, and the parents like that. The parents are like, yeah, you, you tell Jimmy to, s you know, I've been telling Jimmy to sit down and shut up for like, you know, five years. Jimmy never sits down and shuts up. But when, you know, teacher whatever yells at Jimmy, Jimmy sits down and shuts up. So the parents sometimes like it, but then you get the parents that are like super not into that. If that makes any sense. You get the parents that are like, my kid is like a little emperor and you know he deserves to be treated first he deserves to be treated better than the other kids you know he's not getting enough face time with the teacher if the teacher's not talking to him directly enough then it's a big deal you know all this crap so it's you know it's such a mixed bag you don't want to risk yelling at the kids and have one of the parents be one of those what do they call them like kung fu parents or like uh hawkish parents maybe I don't remember. There's some some word for it, but the kids are called little little emperors or whatever, and the ki the parents are like gorilla parents or like cheetah parents or tiger parents. Maybe that's what. Maybe they're tiger parents. Anyway, so it's always it's always freaky to have these parents come in, and then the the boss of my school is there too, the one that like decides whether or not I get another contract for another year if I want it, the one that's like decides if I get more classes, decides if I get raises. Always there watching during these things. So it's a huge stressful event. So I didn't go to the doctor all week because I've been so stressed about these parent meeting things that I haven't been able to do anything outside of get ready for it. It's also I haven't played Isaac in a week. I usually like to play this game about once every day or once every other day. I don't like to create a backlog for the YouTube channel. I don't like to create a backlog of streams. I'd rather just do it once a day. 
Make it part of the routine. Because then it reminds me to play a game once a day. And unfortunately, playing games is something I don't get to do as much as I wish I, I did. So I try to make it into part of the routine to make sure I actually do it. That's an unfortunate drop. A golden chest, I expect at least, you know, two or three pennies out of. Which means potentially two or three keys. Instead, I got the, the skull. The cursed skull. Which is a bad trinket in most situations. And having the flat penny, a much better trinket. The cursed skull is just going to sit there on the ground. And, you know, waste away into nothing down here in the depths. Eventually going to fade away into the, the, the ebbs of time. I believe that's the term. I'm not really sure. My lexicon of uh, popular culture slash cultural terms. So weak these days. Seeing as how I don't actually do a lot of reading anymore. <laughs> and I'm not in school anymore, and so there's really no reason to learn, per se. Except for learning how to teach English. So anyway, big stress. Finally, it's finished. But because of that, I haven't been able to go out. And during these parents' demos, I'm doing, like, the worst thing. I'm leaning against the wall because my foot is, like, like ah, it's really uncomfortable. So I'm kind of leaning against the walls. And the parents probably think, like, this teacher doesn't move when he teaches. He just stands there in the corner and does, you know, and talks to the kids. He doesn't actually move around the classroom. And they wouldn't be wrong because that's all I did during the entire demo. Both times because there were two demos this week. Just stand in the corner, lean against the wall. They're probably, they're probably thinking, like, this foreigner is too obese to walk around the classroom. And I'm, like, totally following into that stereotype of, like, you know... Fat American, too lazy to walk around the classroom stereotype. That unfortunately is prevalent here in Taiwan. It's a very prevalent stereotype. And even if you're just a tiny bit overweight, uh, you're going to get bit by that stereotype a lot. I'm not obese, but I am not in the best shape of my life. I'm getting old. I'm, get I'm almost 30 years old now. I'm not a teenager anymore. I'm starting to carry my weight around my midsection, which I hate so much. And, of course, the last month I've picked up my exercise regimen a little bit. And then I get my foot hurt. And it's like, well, screw that. <laughs> I've learned my lesson. Never walking around again. Which is totally not the lesson you should learn from this, by the way. 30 isn't that old. <laughs> it is when you teach a bunch of 8 and 9 year olds. You tell them you're 30 and they're like, oh, Our teacher's going to be dead before we finish school. I'm like, that's really mean, but also probably true. <laughs> oh. Nah, it's not actually true. I'll, I'll be around, I'm sure. But like, you know, when you work with kids, it's easy to get stuck in that mindset that like, I'm really old. Because I teach people that are, you're like, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. What's that? Super Mario Brothers. They're like, oh, Super Mario Sunshine. No, no, no. Like NES Super Mario Brothers. What's that? You go like, the only thing that's really, it's really cool, you can still do this. You can go like, da 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 da, and the kids will go, duh. Because they, you know, they know the Mario theme. But they don't realize that that's like, oh, should I do this? It's going to be a huge mistake. I'm going to lose so much health doing this. I'm doing it anyway. Screw the rules! I have flat penny. Which means I definitely want... To be taking advantage of, um, of Guppy's tail. And if I'm going to take Guppy's tail, might as well take Guppy. Ah, do I want to go to the library? Do I want to go to the shop? I only have 14 cents. Screw it. Let's move on. You know, I've had Flat Penny for like, what, three floors now? And I have three keys. It's got to be the weakest Flat Penny payout I think I've ever seen. I mean, unless you pick it up and you just, like, immediately put it down for the Polaroid or something in Vanilla Isaac. Then I've, I've seen that before, and that's, like, you know, a zero key payout. But this has got to be one of the worst. YOLO hype. Exactly! You know what? You only live once. Unless you have nine lives, then you, you only live nine times. Oh, that blue spike. Thought he was so coy. I'm going in here, by the way. I need to open every single red chest I can. Because I gotta keep my eyes peeled for that new, uh, or that, not that new, that last guppy piece. I want to take the flat, the flat penny over the safety cap. 
even though I've gone on record many times as saying safety cap is greatly underrated, extra pills are fantastic when you have something like the luck foot, which we do, but we really need those keys for the golden chests, unfortunately. Whoa, hey, whoa! Whoa now, buddy. Uh-oh. Put myself in a bad position here. Half a red heart. Oh, it's a great chest. And we're back. And we're back! To full health. Pop this baby open. It's the compass. Happy to get that. Really happy to get the compass. I could leave. I do have daddy's key. I could just head right on out. But why? Why do that? Why not just, you know, stay a while? Maybe kill these guys off. Maybe get another golden chest drop. Two chests better than one. That's what I always say. Am I right, guys? Ha! Ha! That was terrible. I apologize. I greatly apologize. Finish this guy off. There we go. Last wave. Oh, no! Oh, my God. So freaking close. Let's just put these guys down in ooze land. That was really close. And these guys would do a full heart of damage when they hit you, so... I would have gotten boot booted from the room and would not have been able to collect this amazing payout. This beautiful half red heart that we fought so hard to earn that's totally going to carry us. Nah, just kidding. It's totally not going to. Trash item is trash. Whoa. I just passed right through two of them. I think collision detection is on my side today. Pretty sure I passed through those guys, but I guess they hadn't phased in. Maybe they hadn't fully phased in, so I didn't get uh, clipped by them. Lucky me. Incredibly lucky. No payout from this room. Unfortunate. Pop. Explosive damage is a little weaker on this guy. As you might have noticed, only 18. But it does hit all three parts. So it's a little better than getting like 40. Because it's 18, 18, 18. Which is nice. Finish him off here. The slowing effect, helping a ton. Little Gish is perhaps my favorite uh, shooting familiar. Perhaps. Golden chest. Tarot card. The devil. The devil is in the details, as you know. Bomb bag is bomb trash. So that's it. Maggie's sitting uh, with default damage, slightly boosted rate of fire. Dad's key. Things are not looking very well for this run. <laughs> Let's be honest here. Things are not looking very well for this run. And we've got the coin purse. Or I could buy a coin and a key. Oh, not coin. I could buy a pill and a key. Or I could buy four pills. I'm going to buy the four pills. Tears up is the pill that's on sale. Could be really good for us to come back here and buy that. Friends to the end is trashed here. Shot speed down. I think my shot speed's already pretty low. I guess I'll just pop this one so it's not sitting here on the floor. And if we have the three cents, maybe we'll come back for another tears up. Although, it is going to be quite a trek. I usually am not so against backtracking, but... Moving this slow, it does kind of start to weigh on you. Could really use a blood bag payout. The health plus the speed, both of which I could desperately use. This run might not make it past mom. I'm going to come right out and say it. We might not even beat mom on this one. There's a pair of keys. Pretty nice payout there. I guess we'll come in here. Could use a bunch of spirit hearts. It's not going to happen. Judgment. No money. So if it's money judgment, we're screwed. One heart. So if it's demon judgment, we're screwed. This might be the one time that getting a judgment card is going to be effectively useless for us. Effectively useless. How unfortunate. How very, very, very unfortunate. But such is life. Oh my gosh. So, with this in mind, I think we're probably not long for this world. Yeah, I just got hit by that. How terrible. Just pop judgment. It's... Just, just go away, buddy. Could have really used a spear heart from you. It's too bad. That's too bad. We'll take this guy out this time. Hopefully. I was going to say this time for sure. 
But actually, I need to hit him 100 times because he's got 350 damage. Or 350 lives. 350 HP. There we go. And I'm doing 3.5 per tick. As are my familiars. So we're all just one giant 3.5 cluster here. Thank you for the uh, the slowdown there, little gishy poo. Appreciate that a ton. At least our rate of fire is really good. But unfortunately, that's not enough. It's just not enough when your damage is base. And you have no HP. It is possible to beat this game without taking any damage. Even with no shooting familiars, with no anything. At one point, I might have been, quote-unquote, good enough to do that. Those days are long gone. Terrible. These guys are definitely going to get a killing on me. Yep. Saw that one coming. But maybe we can get him this time. Maybe. Yeah, we got him this time. Red heart that I can't pick up. Another slot machine. Oh, excuse me. Pardon me. Coming through. Pardon me. Pardon me. Coming through. Excuse me. Oh, there we go. No drop. So, I think that's probably the nail in the coffin. Probably this is the nail in the coffin. Seven lives left. We might be able to beat mom. If we get lucky. A little bit of luck. A little bit of skill. You know what they say. The talented make their own luck. Unfortunately, I don't think that's going to be us today. At least we're getting some more keys. Finally getting some key payout. Uh, that golden chest down there was surrounded by rocks or a pit, I believe. Or else I would have opened it. Probably. About 650 for damage. It's going to take about 200 good hits on mom here. The foot will probably... Well, the foot will definitely one-hit kill me at half a heart. I believe the foot does half a heart of damage. Normally. So if I can die and come back, stand a slightly better chance. Slightly better chance. I want to stay towards the center. The limbs coming from the door are what will probably end up doing me in. Or the enemies that she spawns. Those are likely to be a cause of death as well. That's why I'm taking them out pretty quick here when I can. Really, really don't want to get clipped by some fly or something. Just coming in. And tapping me. Also, really don't want to get hit by something from a door. That's always embarrassing to get hit by a door monster. Almost got hit by that gusher. Gushers, by the way, really good, delicious fruit, fruit candy. I uh, haven't seen them in years. I don't, I don't know if anybody remembers those. The gushers. Used to buy them. They're like a, like a gummy worm or something, but inside was a liquid. Really delicious. Take the Polaroid. We'll go back up to full health because why not? There's no such thing as uh, Polaroid Invincibility when you only have half a heart. It's uh, basically you just die when you get hit. Huh. Gushes aren't good anymore. Oh, that's too bad. That's too bad. I remember they used to have like the, was it the Echo Cooler flavor ones? Ah, oh, to live in those days again. Moving on to the womb here. Can't believe we made it this far. I guess I'll use this. I really, I basically have to clear the floor. To look for any kind of advantage I can at this point. Any advantage I can get. Clear a room, a red chest spawns. When you get them, the juice are sometimes squeezed out. Make the whole package all slimy. Oh, that's terrible. They should do something about that. Whatever company makes those needs to get on that. And by the way, I took the jawbone. I think it's going to be a, a slight damage up for us. Yeah, we went from 3.5 up to 5. So it is indeed a, quote, slight damage up for us. It will make hitting some enemies a little harder. But whatever. This run is not going anywhere. So doesn't really matter too much to be honest with you it doesn't really matter too much there we go hit him one more time perfect half a red heart wow thanks buddy i just want to come into one of these rooms and have a red chest sitting on the floor have it be guppy 
And you know what? We might still even lose that run. Even a guppy run with no damage ups at all might not be strong enough for us to actually pull out a win. Guppy is great. Don't get me wrong. Guppy is a triple damage. It's like the equivalent to me of getting like a you know times three damage. Because you get your shot. The flies do two times the damage. The flies always spawn every time you hit. It also gives you flying. Uh, it's just it's a great package, but with only one heart and no damage boosts thus far, it's a good chance it won't be enough. I don't even think I can get into that cursed room right now, as it stands, because if I enter it, I'm gonna lose. Um, I don't want that. I'm gonna lose my heart when I enter, and I'm gonna die. I'm going to be ejected from the room. I'm not going to be able to go into the curse room. So I need a single spirit heart to get in there. Uh-oh. Yep, that was no good. Boxed myself in there pretty terribly. We'll keep pushing for it, though. Oh, I see. You've decided to become angelic. This fetus uh, got a kill, and he leveled up. Now he's, a, now he's an angelic fetus. Because, you know, that's how the Binding of Isaac works, right? The enemy gets a kill. And really, it wasn't him. It was the, uh, the finger. But he got an assist. So that's like half experience bonus, I believe. Gives him enough to level up. Unlock the triple shot perk. He used his badass tokens, I believe, to get that. It's a Borderlands reference for those of you that are playing Borderlands. Just came out recently. Borderlands the pre-sequel. I've played it for maybe about two and a half hours. It's Borderlands. It's Borderlands. It's good if you love the loot train. It's great if you love... Like, that sort of, um, I don't, I don't know what you call it, like, Diablo-esque, always shooting for something better, loot, hoarding, comparing stats of weapons constantly. I enjoy that kind of stuff. And so, uh, you know, it has like that, it doesn't have the random level generation element that rogues and roguelikes have, but the weapons are randomly generated, you know, within a certain parameter. Um, I love that. I love that kind of stuff. I love random generation. It's, you know, perhaps influenced by my love of rogue likes. Perhaps not. Perhaps it's just a love of loot. I don't know. So I've been having a good time with it. Took a break from it, actually, to play this. Giga, how have I been doing? Not terrible. How about yourself, man? Good, it's good to see you. It's really good to see you. The more important question is, how are you doing? That's the real question. And by the way, now I can't actually fight those guys. They're gone. They they got their kill. They went home. They meet. They met their daily quota. So they, they're heading out. They get to go home. They're like, oh, we got our kill. GG. Taking the rest of the day off, boss. Okay. There we go. Like I said, I don't think I'm going to be able to get in here. I don't think I can get in there without a spirit heart. I really, really need to get in there. It's almost worth it to me just to lose a heart, or lose a life, I should say, just to test if I could get in there. But I already know I can't, so what's the point? So there's going to be people asking, did picking up nine lives ruin this run? And my answer to that is no, I don't think so. Because we have not gotten a single damage up. Since picking up 9 lives, we have not gotten a single HP up either. Both, I think, are going to be the death of us. If we had, you know, 4 HP, 1 HP, 3 HP, 8 HP, I don't think it matters. Uh, because I think this run was probably lost based on never getting a damage up. More than it being lost because we picked up 9 lives. Let's just come around here. Poof. Oh, put, pop a bomb down here. So that's quite unfortunate. Uh, no spear hearts. Bummer. Hey, buddy. Poof, 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 poof. And then over here. And... Poof. Oh, come on. Speed up your... Your roll. Most people need to slow their roll. That guy needs to speed up his roll. So let's keep going. 
Whoa! That was really close. Almost sniped me from the doorway there. What a jerk. Am I right or am I right? What a jerk. Hey, buddy. Come over here. Push your friend. Kill your friend. Oh, now nah, I've screwed it up. Maybe not. Yeah, I screwed it up. Oh, well. That's fine. We'll just tap him. Tink, tink. And there we go. Push. Familiars, you know what to do. Push him onto the spikes. See you in hell, buddy. So, Flat Penny or Go Hoof. Go Hoof is a speed up. To be honest, our speed is pretty shite. But I can't give up the Flat Penny. We have Guppy's Tail. How can you give up Flat Penny when you have Guppy's Tail? Cannot. This is the beginning of the end for us, by the way. In case you weren't aware, this is how it all goes downhill. This is the end, my friend. The end. Let's so, uh, just be super careful. This room isn't the end, but you can start to see the confidence is, is slipping. It's been slipping for a while now. Because of that, the play is getting sloppy. Of course, it was sloppy before, but you know, it's getting more sloppy. Just work with the narrative I'm, I'm weaving here. Work with me, please. Work with me. No secret room. Two keys for this? Sure. And we got back the two keys, plus a little bit of money. I can't believe how little money we've had this entire run. Penny drops are usually, you know, all over the place. Not the case here. Not the case here. Be careful. Oh my gosh, there's a rock there. Oops. Let's not get stuck there. Instead of get stuck over here, this is a much better place to get stuck. I mean, let's be honest. Much better view here. Your apartments are a little cheaper. You know, the, it's rent controlled, but it doesn't have that kind of like, you know, poverty feeling. This is a good corner to live in forever. Let's uh, start attacking this way to the one we can actually hit. There we go. The walls of the room are protecting me. The womb rocks and walls are my sword and shield. Yada yada. Symbolism. Protection. Yada yada. He's finished. Rusted key. No thank you. Last room. It's same as, you know, this verse, same as the first, as they say. Uh-oh. About to run. Oh, good. I was going to say, we're going to run into some trouble, though. Not the case. Got to have YOLO confidence. I should, but I'm not gonna. I already know it's over. You know, I'm a stat statistician at heart. And I can see that. I can see the writing on the wall, I believe is the term that we used to say back in the day. You're done from eating. Welcome back. Good to see you. Always a pleasure. Always a pleasure. We got tub champion blow. Are you kidding me? Game, I'm not doing so well. Can you help me out here? Nope, I see not. Dad's key, unfortunately, not not helping us out either. Dad's key really not pulling its weight. Oh my gosh. Oh, it's terrible. Pizza. Nice. The pizza here in Taiwan's pretty good. At least it's normal bloat now and not champion bloat. Not that it's gonna matter. We're already finished. Bloat will probably be the death of us, if I had to guess. Last try. Last try. Right from the door. That sneak attack at the door is pretty, uh, terrible. Well, there you go. It appears that the creep got me. When the creep kills you, it looks like the brain. Those of you on YouTube, thank you so much for watching. Sorry that was not a winning run. I know I don't think I've had a winning run in the last three YouTube videos. Which is pretty terrible, to be honest. So my apologies for that, but hopefully you had a good time. And I will see you next time. Those of you on Twitch, stick around. More to come.